What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for joining me here on this Tuesday, December 13th, 2022, for another Metallic episode of Music of Destruction. Coming to you from the MOD Crypt, as always. Hope you like the new set. Girlfriend's not quite done yet. She will be finishing it up. There's going to be a few more things added to the background. As always, bringing you the best in metal-related content right here on YouTube on the only metal channel you need. Get caught up on all the latest videos. Click the I, bring down the menu. Everything is there. I'd appreciate it. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on that bell for all notifications. Upfront, opinionated, critical, and honest. If you don't like that, I don't know why you'd even be here. Doesn't matter to me. Welcome to Album Review Tuesdays here on the channel. Tonight we're going deep into the underground into New York. Though the band did relocate to Florida for a look at an absolute death metal elite with Malevolent Creation, The Ten Commandments, released in 1991 on RC Records. I have a first pressing. Now, for those of you who may not know, Malevolent Creation were part of the second wave of death metal and emerged back in 1987, originally from Buffalo, New York. Now, they did go on to release four demos in one split even before this debut was released, The Ten Commandments. The band has, been, has quite the extensive discography and have been a favorite of many fans the world over. I do consider myself one of their biggest fans, and I've always found this band to be unique within the framework of old school death metal. Now, of course, one could argue that there was an explosion of DM coming out of Florida and New York. How is this band any different, right? Well, the truth of the matter is that it's all open to interpretation. So for the lineup, we have Mark Simpson on drums, Brett Hoffman, who passed away in 2018, vocals and lyrics, Phil Fasciana, guitars and songwriting, Jeff Juskowitz, guitars, lead guitars, sorry, and Jeff, or Jason Blackowitz on bass. All right, let's get into the review of this classic, shall we? The album opens up with memorial arrangements. It's got an incredible slow tempo of an almost doom-like depth and murkiness to the opening riff. The drums come in like a thunderclap amidst the ambience of a storm sweeping the land and warning of the incoming apocalypse. Now, the impact of the track's visceral, skull-bashing brutality makes its mark quite early on, and this one is a great mix of slower paced doom death metal and crunching soul draining guitar work and lyrics the production is properly dirty and filthy the way death metal should sound and for this being from 1991 it definitely fits this old school death metal aesthetic very well this is a great slow paced track kind of serves as an intro before it explodes into the next track next we have one of their most iconic songs premature burial what a pounding brutal assault this one is. The drumming reminds me of a jackhammer drilling into the concrete, and in this case, your skull. The double bass is absolutely amazing, which drives the momentum of the track's DM aesthetic forward very nicely. Now, riffs are dark and ominous that are very reminiscent of a death thrash metal style, and I think this works on this album because this was around the time when death metal was still highly influenced by thrash in terms of framework and songwriting. Now, there is a little bit of thrash here, but of course, it's mostly that early death metal brilliance. This is some killer stuff. Next is Remnants of Wither Decay, and boom, this one immediately hits you like a bomb exploded right in your face. Brutal low end riffing and pounding drums with some amazing militant style snare beats. Aggressive double vase evisceration which definitely melts you into millions of charred bits as the track progresses with a rotting morbid aesthetic and macabre lyricism that takes the track to a whole new level. So many bands around this time were also pushing everything to its utmost extreme and this is where malevolent creation shine in my eyes. This is some truly primal fast grinding death metal with a lot of violence and aggression and this makes for a great track as well. Next up we have Multiple Stab Wounds, another fan favorite of many people with so much aggression and death metal dominance and primal raw rage it almost becomes like a force that cannot be contained as the blast beats and strong lyrics with the incredible riffing cuts uh, definitely eviscerate you like you're being stabbed with a knife repeatedly as this track has a strong emphasis on homicidal rage, insanity and depravity which is reflected in a choice of riffing, pacing, and overall mood of this track's testament to mental insanity and raw savage aggression. Now the drum work here is incredible as well as is the riffing bass lead guitar work and the vocals which shows 
lose themselves here uh, very, very rapidly. And what I love about this is that the solos that are contained on this album are never overdone. This is a great track. Next, we have another violent attack of depravity and classic morbid brutality with Impaled Existence. And could it sound any more apt to the track's title? This one sounds like a complete mental breakdown of fragile, hostile primal urges exploding onto rage-fueled venom of the most intense kind that collides with some incredible strong double bass, violent savage riffs, riffing, and some fast vocals that once again combine the death thrash style with some early DM snarling and bile that makes for an incredible combination. There's also some rather intriguing vocal effects on this one that sound like they're being performed through some kind of plastic cylinder. Really makes it sound interesting. But yeah, this is another amazing track, so let's check out some malevolent creation here on Music of Destruction. Enjoy. And we are back another killer track right next up we've got thou shall kill and well if you thought the last track was intense this one cranks up the intensity even more what I feel here is a person who's just gone completely off the rails and has no recollection now of their actions or motives as the psychosis of this one intensifies the track progresses into violent blistering speeds with chainsaw style riffing and sonic mind splattering snare drumming and some incredible double bass and breakneck filling speeds that catapults this track into new levels of aggression and dominant sections that rapidly shift tempos to create a strong feeling of one losing control and slipping deeper into insanity and mental fragility. That's what makes this track absolutely insane in my opinion and it's awesome. Next up we've got Sacrificial Annihilation and well you guessed it that's what it sounds like. The annihilation of humanity is being foreshadowed on this track as the combination of the instrumentation and vocals create momentous builds with strong cataclysmic imagery and emotions of complete obliteration of mankind and all of its atrocities coming to light at once. Now the framework of the writing expresses all of the imagery and emotion through the choices in riff placement, drum work, and vocals which are equally intense and violent all throughout this destructive force. 
The profound driving insanity of this track that it explores is absolutely off the charts. This is one of the heaviest tracks on the album, and it's fucking great. Next up, we have Decadence Within, and what an introspective track this one is, with a lot of deep reflection of the self, but also one that questions the very fabric of existence. As you can hear, the frantic emphasis on the emotional context and lyrical themes being explored as it mounts and builds an intensity around the various channels of the mind that are being explored that pushes your mind into different experiences that the brutal offerings and extreme attack on the senses are creating with rather a stark contrast into the darkness that permeates us all at some point and there's something very primordial about this track and the entire album and the attack on the senses can be very very difficult to deal with but that can be said about the entire record as a whole because you can feel the conviction and rage that these maniacs were putting forth and it's powerful violent and profound this is another amazing track next up we have injected suffrage as if the title isn't interesting enough well the music here is just as intense raw aggressive and mentally confounding because what you get here is the sound of suffering literally and i don't think that this album could have been written any better than it is here there was a desire to create something so unfathomable and unspeakable during these times and malevolent creation were ahead of the game and they were sound at delivering on all of these fronts the track is an absolute sonic carnage attack and grim bombastic violent affair with no regard for your soul or psychological stability because this throws that all out the window this is a god tier dm track closing out the album is the title track malevolent creation and this is another dark trip into the minds of these maniacs who were clearly bent on creating the most abhorrent extreme metal possible for this time there's a great deal of authenticity and rage that's be to be found here both in the vocals guitar work pounding double bass and the psychosis that the track excel itself explores which is immense now this combined with the absolute amazing great riffs raw double bass extremity and blasting cacophonics which are absolutely amazing uh, definitely catapults this into new areas of extremity and this thrashy death metal style makes everything that much better and the lyrics are very decipherable and we even get some intense blast beats on here those are though those are found on other areas of the album but the fact that they vary in various tempo speeds really creates a cataclysmic intensity and it's absolutely amazing this is another awesome track and a great way to close out this masterpiece. The final verdict for the 10 commandments from Malevolent Creation is getting a 10 out of 10, as this is my favorite album from them, and there's nothing on this record that needs to be changed. One of the best DM albums ever. Hail the fucking underground. All right, there you guys have it. Another album review in the books here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the premiere. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell for all notifications. Merchandise on the homepage. Click the store tab. New merch will be going up. Janelle has taken a long time to do the set. We're going to be coming up with some new designs. Join the channel. We're up to 12 members. Thank you very much to my friend Anthony who just joined. We're up to 12 members. MOD elites get awesome perks for $249 for your first month, $499 thereafter. Hit the join button, you get access to exclusive content, review requests within reason, banner interviews, and members only live streams and collaborations if you have a metal YouTube channel. Have a great night. We will see you guys for album ranking Wednesdays. Hails.